Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so today what I'm gonna do, I will talk about knowledge base, right? Um, how is knowledge base important in your service cloud journey? Um, so knowledge base plays a very important role. Now you must be wondering why, right? Because service cloud has different features, why I'm talking more about the knowledge base. So when you talk about the knowledge base, right? Think about uh, a library, right? You have a, say for instance, if you're living in a town, right? You have a city library, so why do you need a library? Library is a great place for you to learn new things, right? If you wanted to, say, um, learn any information about, say, Roman history, you can go to the library and, you know, you can sit there, spend whole day, and all you need is a membership. It's free, right? Um, and say, for instance, if you wanted to learn about rugby, you can go to the library, say, and you can read about the New Zealand rugby, you know, All Blacks, or you can read about, you know, other country rugby players, right? So if you uh, bring that analogy to Salesforce, right? Say, for instance, uh, you are a company, right? Um, the main task of your company is to sell solar panels, say, for instance, to customer. Now, solar panel is, is pretty great. Now, some of the sometimes the customer calls back and say, you know, I'm trying to install certain things on the panel and we are having an issue, okay? And if you are a customer service agent, right? And if you're newly joined, you know, it, it's kind of embarrassing, right? If you don't know much about the solar panel, so you might have to go to superior, uh, your supervisor, right? Um, and then ask, hey, do you know anything about this instruction? So now instead of, you know, going to the, uh, you know, your seniors all the time, how about you have a knowledge article where you can pretty much refer and even forward that to your customer, right? How cool is that, right? It saves uh, the time of the agent and agent can actually spend, uh, you know, their time in solving the re the problem which really matters, right? Because sometimes th the customer might call with the same problem, right? Different customers. So if you have a article in place, right? You can always refer to the same article or point customer to the same article. How cool is that, right? It improves your team performance. Um, it improves your team efficiency because the implementation of the knowledge base is all driven by what you wanted to achieve as a business, right? Well, uh, how do you see your customer team performing in a year's time, right? Do you think that your customer uh, agents are wasting uh, t uh, their time on answering the same question again and again? So if the answer to that is yes, then the knowledge base plays a very important role here, right? Because all you have to do, create ones, then refer the same information, or if you think there's a change, you can modify the existing data. Rather than asking, you know, different people, it's kind of inconvenience, right? Because, and people don't like to be asked the same question again and again, right? It might even annoy your seniors, right? Hey, why don't you write it down somewhere instead of coming to me every single time, right? You know, because it's not their fault because they might have a bad day. They must be handling in like 50 calls a day, so they get frustrated, right? So you have to factor all those things into consideration. So keeping that in consideration, we have knowledge base. Now, knowledge base, you may not be able to see it first time, right? You must be saying, hmm, I just, you know, you must say, hmm. I've seen my coworker uh, doing something in the knowledge base, well, but why can't I see it? You know, so it's pretty simple. Okay, you need to activate a few things. So let's go to the first thing. We what we do. So you know, you log into your work. You have a service cloud set up. Um, if you don't have, you can register for one, which is pretty simple. But if you're using Developer Console, you normally have it, right? So you go to setup here and uh, go to the user. And when you go to the user. Um, so I'll pick a user and then you activate um, uh, knowledge user, right? You tick that option. Fantastic, right? Very simple. This is the first thing. Remember this, okay? Um, then you, what do you do? You go to knowledge. So when you go to knowledge, right? Uh, so you will have an option called, uh, right? Let's go to the server setup, right? So, so you go to so there is something called the knowledge setting. So if you if you if you search for the knowledge, right, um, you know, just go to the setup, the service setup, and look for the knowledge. 
um, since we're dealing with a service cloud, so go to the service setup, right? Um, and go to knowledge setting. So initially it will be disabled, so activate it. So when you activate it, so you get all these options. So in that, you just activate the enable lightning knowledge. And just um, if you wanted to uh, show the article summaries in different list view, so this is only for classic if you're dealing with the classic because, I mean, if I'm, I do understand that some people are still using classic. So if that's the case, you know, stick to it. It's fine. You can activate it. And um, um, rest of the options are pretty much the same. Not much here, right? So keep all that. Fantastic, nothing much. Um, let's just see. Right, okay, there's nothing much here. Okay, so what do you do? Um, you just go to search for the knowledge. So I will show you, first of all, how to create an article and publish it, right? Because you might have, say, for instance, right now I have two articles in place. Now, I wanted to, say, install, well, SOAP panel, to be honest, it's a bit technical for me, but um, I'm just going to try to create it and, and show you what it looks like, right? So let's create an article, right, how to install a solar panel. I don't know how to install a solar panel, to be honest, but uh, let's put some jargon here just for the sake of argument, right? Um, so just go to new, um, and you have procedure, how to do something. This can So this is like, there are two ways you can do, okay? So uh, procedure for defining how to do something are steps, right? And this is a FAQ, can be used for simple questions, right? Um, so the simple questions, right, FAQ I did, uh, beer ingredients, pretty simple question, right? The beer ingredients, uh, barley mar, hops, water, corn, sometimes they add rice. Just, um, okay, and that's one way. Now, I don't have anything for the procedure, so I'll just go procedure, um, how to... Uh, so install, I don't know how to do that, but uh, solar panel, I never did it. So I'm not an electrician. So um, so procedure audience. Um, so procedure warnings, procedure audience. Uh, I would say someone, uh, this will, you can, so if you don't know what, Procedure audience means you can highlight this. You say use the field to identify who should follow or execute this procedure. Someone who has experienced, uh, let's say, an, ex an experienced electrician, right? And so procedure audience, so you can do that. And procedure purpose, uh, use this field to describe the purpose of this procedure. Uh, you can say install uh, solar panel, right? Uh, procedure warning. Um, use this field to capture warning uh, a user should know, right? Um, read, so I would say read uh, the instruction manual before proceeding. I mean, now procedure step. That's like I said, I do not know how to install the solar panel. I mean, if, if I have an instruction manual, I, I will give it a go, right? But but without that, I don't know how to do it, but I'll just say, I'll just put some dummy stuff, right? So it's my apologies. If you're someone who've done solar panel, don't blame me, right? I don't know how to do it. So I would say, but yeah, install solar panel, right? Just for the sake of it, right? I'll just save it. All right, so I've created an article, right? And then, so I say, I'm happy with it. Now, it's obviously, by creating an article, it's not enough. You have to publish it, okay? So that's the next step, which is pretty important. Um, so you're going to go and publish it. I probably should have said the steps to brew beer because I'm, I'm more comfortable in brewing beers, but I'm not good with electrical stuff, right? Um, so... So that's the thing I have. So now I have articles there. Okay. Now, customer, let's create a case, right? Fantastic. Now, customer called and said, hey, um, I have an issue with uh, 
Um, so let's say the customer called uh, or whatever, right? So procedure to install the case. Ah, sorry, um, solar panel. So I'm creating a case where the customer called asking for help installing solar panel. Um, I'll just say, I'm just putting some dummy information here. Right, the case is great. Uh, all right, so something I missed, that's case origin. Uh, just that they're called, right? So the knowledge base, one thing I just wanted to make sure, right? Uh, I just wanted to convey that uh, the knowledge base should be accessible uh, for different channels, right? It doesn't matter if a customer calls you uh, over phone or you chat or different only channel, right? The knowledge base should be available. Okay, now you can see that uh, the case is created. Now look at the right hand side. That this is where the beauty happens, right? The knowledge here. Um, so now the customer called. I create a case, right? And then they say, "Oh, I need some information about how to install the knowledge, um, how to install the solar panel." Now let's say I'm a customer agent. I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing. Uh, I got a little bit of training on solar panel, but I'm not very comfortable. But you know, they put me into the customer service team, anyways. Now, if a customer calls me for a solar panel installation, I might struggle. I said, mm, solar panel. And and I, I can Google it, right? That's the first thing. But maybe the instructions are very specific to the company who manufactures the solar panel. So the instruction might vary. You know, though there might be a few generic steps which every panel follows. But uh, some of the, uh, you know, let's say, you know, they have, you have to configure your app to turn on this and kind of stuff, right? To link it to inverters and, you know to or how to connect your battery to you know to to store the power kind of stuff right i'm just giving it a high level so as an agent like i said right i don't know how to install it so agent might be having the same problem so if there's no knowledge article that the person will obviously say hey give me five minutes let me talk to my supervisor right um so the customer will say okay that's fine and then the customer, uh, then agent comes back and say, oh, you do X, uh, step one, do step two, do step three. Then the customer said, okay, I've done all of the steps. Now, uh, what about that switch there? Now, for instance, and you must be wondering, what switch? I don't know what switch is talking about because my supervisor didn't give me any information about the switch. Okay, hang on a second. Let me put you on hold again. Go back. Okay, so come back. All right, I have... Okay, I you okay, you move the switch to to the counterclockwise or whatever, right? All right, do this step six to the customer said, Okay, I have this uh, blue wire. Uh what do you think I'd do with this? Hmm. And you must be wondering, what blue wire? Okay, hang on a second. So you see the the kind of frustration that even the agents get frustrated and the customer saying, Customer will ask, Do you really know what you're doing? Can I talk to someone who is more experienced? So that created a very bad impression. Now imagine you have a knowledge article here, right? A person can open it and say, say all the steps here. I mean, right now I don't have a step. All the steps here, the customer, will, and you can say, okay, that switch. All right, you move to the counterclockwise. All right, that blue wire connected there, and to follow that, follow this, right? Everything sweet at one place. So, and another beauty of the the knowledge article, right? You can also search in a global search, right? Install solar panel, so you can pretty much there, and you can also. Um, one of the things you can also do, you can link this to your case, right? Attach article, okay? So you've attached. Now what that will do, so when you go to this um, this knowledge um, uh, record, right? The, the, so you can go to the related list. If someone looks at it, you can see that, oh, this knowledge article has been used for this specific case, okay? So pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome, right? Now, um, you have something called versions, right? So, you know, say for instance, if I um, say, I'll show you, demonstrate you. Let's say I want to edit as a draft, okay? And I say, I got someone wants to modify a step. Say, experienced electrician um, or slash um engineer right so let's say someone wants to modify the article they can do that save it and and then publish it right 
now so it will create a new version right now so as you can see it's version 2 now when you look at the versions you have two versions here now so what that will do right if i wanted to see what changes were happened in uh in the version one so you can go to version one and uh and you can see oh this is a change and in the version two is a little bit different right so this is very important and now like i said right the related list uh it can tell you right this is uh this thing is a part of this uh specific um um this, this article has been used for the specific um, case, right? And another thing you can also do when you go back to the case, right? So, okay. So what I'll do, I'll go back to case. And you can also uh, insert this article into the email uh, if you wanted to insert it. So you can pretty much do that. See? Um so you can do that as well, procedure install. So it will actually procedure step, right? It will put that in the form of a text and you can email to a customer. That's also possible, right? Pretty, pretty uh, easy way, I would say. Um, so, and then, you know, you can also uh, search for it. So if you look at the case, right? If you wanted to search for, uh, um, so let's go to this one. And you can also search for uh, the knowledge here, which is pretty handy. Right, and you can also create a new article from here, which is another way you can do that. Um, and you can also attach the file to the to the to the knowledge, you know, under related list if you remember. Um, so I don't have a right to do that for, but you can pretty much attach the file here. And you know, you can. You know, I think there's a um, there's a limit on the number of uh, GB you can do that. I think it's probably two GB, but something, but. You know you can attach the file and you can view it right so in i mean the pdf files or whatever so as you can see right the importance of having a knowledge base um it's kind of simplifies your uh your service process and it helps you serve your customer in a better way now if the same customer or say for instance a different customer calls again um say next time and say hey i wanted to know how to install Solar panel, do you have any kind of documentation which I can go through? So, you know, this is where the knowledge base helps, right? You can pretty much say, all right, we can send you an email, follow the steps, and you're good to go, right? Um, so that's one of the advantage of having a knowledge base. And that's why it's a very powerful feature, right? People underestimate it and say, ah, oh, this doesn't make much difference. It does make a lot of difference, right? You know, I remember, you know, when I started out as a developer, very back in the days, I didn't give a damn board documentation right now as i get older uh, when i move into architecture space i realize documentation matters a lot you know if someone tells you it's not they're just fooling you right because how do i know right say for instance you go to a company you join a company and it doesn't matter how experienced the person is if there is no freaking documentation in place that person will struggle and eventually what happened that person will say hey screw it i'm just gonna leave it happens Right, so the same goes with the customer agent. And a customer, if you don't have any knowledge base in place, the customer agent will get frustrated and say, "Look, I don't want it to work here anymore," because it's it's absolutely bonkers, right? So that's that's one of the reasons why I say the knowledge base plays a very important role. So yeah, that's and it's important from your certification point of view as well. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. I hope you guys enjoyed um, today's session, even though it's, it's a smaller one, but. I think it's good for Saturday. So take care. Adios.